Overall, I'm very pleased with the way this hammer handle is staying in place. I've used it twice now, and other than it being thin and, and taking a little getting used to, it's, it's staying very well put. It hasn't budged. So, and you'll notice when I'm swinging, like the bottom of the swing always seems to tilt a little bit downward this way. So I guess that lends itself to the hammer working its way, trying to work its way upwards. So, so far so good. Uh, I've actually found that this hammer being annealed seems to be softer than I even imagined. So I might actually harden this hammer and that's one of the advantages now is that I can easily remove this and do that operation rather than if it was permanently handled that would be a lot more trouble. And I think I might actually use this hammer for regular forging operations. Uh, one other thing is that I dressed it but this is quite wide and I haven't given it enough of a convex surface so I'd like to I need to give it a little bit more just to make it you'll notice that when you hammer if your hammer face is too flat obviously you won't move as much metal as fast but also you'll feel it won't have a proper rebound you can just feel it it has kind of a almost a I want to say it's a skipping effect or it just deadens when it hits the workpiece and doesn't come back and it, it, it doesn't it's not as smooth when you're when you're hammering if that makes any sense so I'm going to dress this again and give it a little bit more of a convex face but for right now I'm gonna fire up my forge and then use this hammer a bit and let you see it uh, during some operations
here's the verdict on this hammer and this uh, pressure fit handle style. Every time I was uh, doing normal forging operations on the anvil, uh, every, it, it stayed put, didn't budge, not a fraction. But when I worked on the guillotine tool, you'll notice, like you can see this, see this mark here was where it was up top, and it slipped just a little bit. It never came loose, but because I, when I was hit, the guillotine tool is higher up, so the final end of the stroke, the hammer was pointed, the handle was pointed upwards, the top. So it had the propensity to want to slide down a little bit. You'll see, like, if you see, you can see where it is now, and then now where it is. That's where it should be. So when I was actually just using it as a forging hammer, not at no issue at all. When I, a little higher up, and like I said, the stroke didn't finish on the downward, then it's tended to slide just a hair. And I've actually, after using this a bit, I think, I, like I mentioned, I'm going to use this maybe as, a, as a, a, a forging hammer rather than a top tool hammer. It just seems more suitable for that. So overall, I'm very pleased. I think I probably could have got the fit on the bottom better, and that might have helped some. But I think that if, since I work seated, Obviously, my arm angle is different. If you were standing up, even if you were hitting on a, a top tool, a guillotine tool, the, the hammer would, face would be tilted, the hammer angle would be tilted slightly downward at the end, or at least level. So I don't think you'd ever have an issue. Uh, one other thing is when I made this handle, the, the weather in Taiwan is very humid, and that at that time it was extra humid. And the last couple of days had been much drier, so this handle might have dried out just a little bit. But overall, I'm, I'm very pleased. I like, I like the feel of the hammer, even though it's very thin on the handle end. I was thinking of maybe wrapping this with leather, or maybe some kind of cordage. But uh, quite honestly, I think having it thin is not a, it's not bad either because it forces you to have a much lighter grip, which I think is better. So, yeah, so far so good. I'll continue to, to experiment with this style, and if I feel pleased, I think I will uh, probably offer hammers, uh, maybe lighter weight hammers, with this style of a handle. So, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.